Gross 83 live on Sunday morning, and you asked for it? Well, I don't know if you asked for it. Hopefully somebody asked for it, but what we've got here, and this morning, we're not drinking alcohol. It's a little early for that. But what we are drinking, and this is from Aldi's, this is their Ampli cotton candy flavored energy drink. Now these have a very similar amount of caffeine to Bang or Rain energy drinks. But these are only around $1 a piece rather than the, the name brand energy drinks, which can sometimes be as much as $3 a drink. And they are quite tasty. And Aldi's does not always have these, so if your Aldi's has it, definitely get a bunch. I buy a bunch at a time and drink it over the week or whatever, however long it takes. It really gives me that rocket ship boost in the morning. And I can switch off. Sometimes I'll be in the mood to do make the whole the coffee the whole deal and other days I'm just like I need caffeine and I need it now it's my caffeine and I need it now and it looks like we're about to have another special guest come on Buck and there's our Mr. Buck Buckhausen Buck Kill yes my baby Buckley Ooh, I think he just farted too. Don't fart. Stinker. You're really a stinker today. We're going to sip this energy drink here. We've got Buckley here. Ooh, ooh man. He's stinky. <clears throat> that is very tasty. A lot of energy drinks just have that... <clears throat> I don't even know it. Like, I, I'll drink a Monster, but a regular Monster doesn't taste very good. Some of their variants taste good, but like a regular Monster or Monster Zero, it's good in a pinch, but mm, taste is not that spectacular. I've had worse. I mean, I've had Malort, and Malort isn't even that bad. The worst thing that I've ever tasted before I discovered the capsules was doing, like, taking a shot of apple cider vinegar every morning. That is brutal. Don't, if you can get the capsules, because apple cider vinegar is very good for you. There's no doubt about that. But I would definitely recommend the capsules over doing, like, a a little shot or a tablespoon of it because wow that is something else <clears throat> but we're not here to talk about health tips we can look at Buckley though yes we are here to look at Buck yeah hi yeah oh stupid boy but we've got the picks of the week for today Sorry, I always have to write it down on my notepad. This is an, an advertisement of some kind or another. But I'll try to keep that off screen here. Hi. Oh, such a big boy. So today, I am doing something I don't usually do. I am picking the beer, bears, getting 13. That's a big number. Getting 13 against Tom Brady and the Buccaneers. Last year, the Bears actually beat the Buccaneers by one. And I don't know if that will happen again, but that big 13, that 13, I feel like that is going to be my lucky number this afternoon. And now we move on to the second pick of today. And I am going with the San Francisco 49ers giving four. I think we, you've seen enough of my videos to know what that means, even if you're a novice to this uh, 
betting and gambling. But we are going with the 49ers giving four versus the Colts. And I honestly don't know. Is Carson Wentz back yet? Is he healthy? He, he broke two ankles at the same time. Whatever it was a couple of weeks ago, that looked pretty, pretty painful. So I hope he makes a full recovery. But either way, I like the Niners. And then we are going, I'm going last week. I picked the Dolphins against the Jaguars. And guess what happened? The stupid Dolphins lost. Like, how how much lower can you get losing to the pathetic Jaguars with their coach that doesn't even have any business coaching in the NFL? And still, the Dolphins lost to them. Just pathetic. So, I, I am going with... Matty Ice and the Atlanta Falcons giving to, and I'm sure I'm not going to go into what that means, giving to, getting to, blah, blah, blah. You know what it means. So they're giving to against the worthless Dolphins. Those are gross 83's picks. And hopefully, I do better than last week, because last week was not great. And now Buckley is just going to sit here. Buckley, I'm trying to do a video. Come here. Oh. Uh, let's see what we got here. And now, we're going to say goodbye to Gross83, and goodbye to Buck. Goodbye.